Hi, this is Joe O'Neill from Sports Page here at Fenway Park in Boston at the Jimmy Fun uh, Fantasy Baseball uh, Day. Here we're uh, watching some uh, outstanding hitting here um, by uh, somebody taking uh, enjoying the batting practice. Oh, that's a shot that might be going, going. Ah, oh, oh wow, a little short. Nice play, though. And um, we're enjoying it. We're proud to be a part of, uh, yeah, we're proud to be a part of uh, this uh, fantasy day here. A great cause that Jimmy Fund, as we've talked about. I'm going to bring in now uh, the coordinator for the Jimmy Fund event today. Her name's Lisa McCor- Mac- McElroy. McElroy. Lisa, thanks for joining us here for a second. I know you didn't expect uh, this part. Uh, Tell us a little about Fantasy Day here at Fenway. So Fantasy Day has actually a couple of parts. There's a part that's going on behind me, which is that people um, pay for either batting spots or fielding spots, um, and that's how we raise a lot of money for the Jimmy Fund and Dana-Farber Cancer Institute. So as you can see, um, you know, people get to try to hit the green monster. They win a T-shirt that says, I hit the monster if they do. Um, So it's always a lot of fun. We have people who come back year after year after year. Um, And then we also have the ultimate fan experience, which is for, you know, the casual fan who wants to come down to Fenway and enjoy and try to see people hit the Green Monster, but also enjoy a lot of activities like uh, wiffle ball home run derby. There's a uh, calling plays on WEI. Um, there's a kid zone with face painting, and just a lot of fun for for families and, and really anyone who's interested in baseball. Yeah, great thing. Now, how long have you been doing the fantasy baseball? I know it's been quite a while. This is the Oh, I can't believe I can't remember this. I believe this is the 16th year, and uh, this is probably, I've been here at the Jimmy Fund for about six years, so we've been doing it for that long, and the fan experience is a little new. We've really um, expanded it this year, so we're really hoping that takes off and that people will really want to come down and and, um, just, you know, enjoy some things at Fenway. Now, how um, how you do for numbers as far as raising money for this? I know obviously you have a lot of events. Yeah. It's a great cause, and um, certainly the Red Sox and Dana Farber yeah. have been tremendous. Uh, we all know uh, what great cause it is for the cancer awareness. We've all been touched, so many in our family, by cancer. I know I have in my family. Yeah. Um, so tell us a little about that. So we hope to raise about four hundred forty thousand dollars this year um, over the course of uh, the, the history of the event. We've raised raised about um, seven million so um, certainly just you know trying to keep going on that because every little bit helps there's so many things um, that need to be done for people with, with cancer there's research there's patient care there's um, really caring for the whole family because when a family goes through cancer or when one person in the family goes through cancer early everybody goes through cancer and so um, we are really aware of that we really try to treat the whole person and not just the disease and so it's um, events like this that allow us to do some of those little extra things that um, that don't necessarily get taken care of by medical bills. Right. I know there's like a lot of uh, family, um, act, you know, stuff for the family to help them through it and, and stuff like that. Um, so what are some of the other upcoming events that you got this year? So um, our next real big event is the um, WEEI Nesson Jimmy Fun Radio Telethon, which is August 14th and 15th. So, you know, people who listen to WEEI and, and watch Nesson, it's two days this year of programming. Um, there are also going to be a couple of events that people can take part of. So, you know, if you want more information on that, you can go to jimmyfun.org, um, and that will be updated um, as we get the more information. Um, let me think. There's, a, there's um, the swim. There's the... Uh, swim Across America, which is in July, and that's for people who want to swim in Boston Harbor, and then there's also a swim down in Nantasket. Nantasket. Um, that's, yeah, so that's pretty much fun. If you're, you know, if you're a swimmer, you want to go out for a day, you can, uh, again, uh, go to jimmyfund.org. There's information on that. And um, we have a million events. Uh, there's a lot of golf tournaments. Um, there's a Jimmy Fun Walk, which is coming up in September. People get to walk on the course of the Boston Marathon, and you don't have to walk the whole thing. <laughs> we have about five courses from anywhere from three miles up to the full 26. But a lot of people, you know, would love to run the marathon, but it's not really an option. Uh, so here's a great way to go and enjoy the historic route. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can avoid the hill. <laughs> you can start in Hopkinton and end in Wellesley, or you can start in Wellesley and end in, in Boston. So um, that's just a really wonderful event, and there's 
there's a lot of patients along the are on the route who are walking and families and and that's just a great event. So those are kind of our, the, the highlights. Um, like, but like I said, there are so many events and so many ways that people can get involved um, and also really enjoy themselves because the events are a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. Um, how about research? How I know they've come a long way. Can you tell us uh, what you you know? I don't know if you know what information. Obviously, there's disclosure of privacy yeah, for the right. patients. We understand that. Right. But as far as research and stuff, it seems like they are making some progress. Can you update on that? Sure. You know, there's it's so hard because what the more they research, the more they find out that cancer is not just one disease. It so, acts in so many different ways. And so what they're really doing now is finding those pathways of how it works and really targeting those pathways for each type of cancer. Um, so there are therapies out there that you don't have to have chemotherapy. You can have what's called a targeted therapy where you literally take a pill and it blocks the, the specific gene or the, um, or the genetic part that's causing the cancer. And they're finding more and more what, unfortunately, those t- tend to work for a little while and then they don't work so the, the more they learn the more they kind of need to learn um, and we're making incredible strides I mean there are you know children's cancer uh, excuse me uh, leukemia in the back in the 50s and 40s and 50s was universally fatal right. and now the most f- common form of cancer of ch- pediatric ca- with a blood cancer so you can't go in and operate you can't right. take it out you really have to treat it with chemotherapy Amazing. for the most common form of um, childhood leukemia the cure rate is almost 90 percent now fantastic that's fantastic want to thank you for stopping in and talking to us and uh we're going to enjoy this day for sure uh nothing like fenway park lisa thanks a lot thanks for joining us thank you